dead. Huh? We're in the house. <laughs> and we got a pepper. And she's looking. She's ready to spy what's in the cardboard. What's in the cardboard, dead? You gonna give it a cat scan? Yeah, go Jonathan W action. There's plenty of boxes Look at here. That. Look at that. We only got three of our tires. What the heck? Yeah, look at that bad boy. Thank you, Two ninety-five, fifty, fifteenth. What you wanted? That's a nice looking tire. That'll last the life of the van. Yeah, it should. For as much as we actually get to drive and enjoy our cars, that's the last pair of tires you'll ever buy. Yeah. Huh. And I think those, the way the boxes are kind of shaking, I think those are your your front, front ones. ones. Yeah. Get those we could. Well, I'd rather get it all done all in one whack. I wonder what another box is. I don't know. Was I, that a different delivery guy? No, it's the same guy. He's new. Oh. She has found her home. She is definitely a trash cat. That's for sure. She's like 10 months old. 11 months, maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, there's one of your fronts. These are my fronts. Why would put in a box? I don't know. That's kind of weird. I was kind of hoping she would hamster wheel in the wheel and the tire. I thought that'd be kind of funny. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I thought this was going to start turning into a cat video. Uh oh, it's moving on her. <laughs> She's right at home. All right, Dad. Well, you know what's in that one. We all know what's in that one. Where'd Bam. Where'd my knife go? Don't matter where your knife is. Look inside this box because this has got more cool, funky van parts in it. Cool, funky van parts. Yeah. What is it like? Christmas? It is Christmas. It's Christmas in February. Woo. Those carburetors aren't yours. Uh. That would be the solving of all my carburetor problems. There's your special gift right there. That guy. This one. Yep. Yeah, that's what we picked out for you. All my years. And a hooga horn? Yep. <laughs> All my years of you always telling me about funky horns. Yeah, cool. Finally bought an ooga horn. Thank you. Yeah. We got vacuum caps in here. We got these special, these are for where the keystones, uh -huh. they sell them individually and they're not cheap. Wow. But we got all your Krager lug nuts. Okay. All your McGuard lug nuts. So that's all good to go. We got drop shackles in here for you. Jesus. We got everything. Here's your coil wire you wanted in the last video. That's a big box. That's a big box. Oh, and because now your van is Jake's equipped. <laughs> you figure out where to put that in. I don't know. I figure we'll get you one of those street van badges from Australia that'll take six years to get here. Mm -hmm. Don't put that right below it. So, there's that. Now, we just gotta wait for that last 295 to show up. We can get the new wheels mounted, balanced, and thrown on that sucker. Well, Michael is over, and so is, well, so is Dad. Dad's always here. Working on the van again today. Dad's underneath because we're finally, after like two or three weeks of owning the new gas tank, we're going to put it in. How's that looking, Dad? No worries, it's gonna be too bad. Good. Dad found out why the gas tank gauge doesn't work, the fuel gauge, because the wire's shooting half, thanks to our rat friend, who we have not captured, but we have a chunk of his fur. So, it's in the back. Uh, he's still around. We're gonna get you. You some beach, you won't last. But yeah, if our other tire will show up, we can get the new tires on here and these Craigers can go to the new owners. Traded those off for them keystones in the back of the van. I'm gonna try and not spray dad with a bunch of crapola. I traded for those for dad. Like new, for, or 15 by sixes and 15 by tens, keystones. We got all the center caps. Oh, that's what we got off the rat. And a big old turd. <laughs> Curly, we caught him. And he was not having a good day because he crapped his pants. 
Alrighty, so gas tank is dangling. Our friends were making a nest. Look how clean that is. Really clean. But uh, this gas tank has got fuel in it. We can smell it. It smells glorious. Can't get in there. Nope. Oh, oh. On the cardboard. No. Let's not save the cardboard. Oh. What are you doing? Getting off the button. I'm trying to get my tool to get up. Oh no. Oh. That's yummy. I don't know if that's water or just old gas. I've seen old gas turn orange before. Oh. We are actually being responsible here. Just wanted to let you guys see. Oh, that is gas. Oh, bubbly. Yeah, we'll put her in that five gallon bucket. That'll be good for cleaning parts. That is nasty. Yeah. All right, bucket's about full. See that? Uh, yeah. How much gas is left? Oh, it's almost empty. Not empty. Almost five gallons. Perfect. So out with the old. And with the new, that rubber was pretty destroyed. Oh, it was. It was all cracked. Okay. Made in Canada. So, I guess I need that rubber, Lee. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, uh, it, the camera don't even want to focus on it. It's so ugly. It's turning the light. What can we see? Oh. Ew. So weird. It's real soft. That's pretty gross. That stinks. I can no other. That's good that we got a new gas tank, but we don't have a grommet. Ah. Get the shit out of that. Yeah. Oh well. We'll figure something out. Well, we're gonna have to get us a new grommet. Yep, figure out where we can get one of those. What the hell is going on here? How's that look? You don't even want me to go there. So, yeah, you don't want to know. Michael, were you really cleaning Dad's hole out with your... I was cleaning his pipe out with my brush. Right here at this end. Yeah, get her clean. Get her. Hang on, hang on. You don't want to go in there dry, Michael. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, let me give you a little bit of squirt there. You and Dad there having your little moment. There you go. Put a little bit of lube right down in there. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Michael. Yeah. That ain't even right. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> the van's already having an effect. Alrighty, guys. So it's several days later it's actually 50 something degrees out it's freaking nice let me show you what we're working on stuff getting shipped out well tall john's carburetor being a tall john at tall john's fun shop dude is hooking us up with more parts for l van the von duque now you'll notice i've got my super tricks on here because well dad no longer owns these freaking craggers and i've got to get the tires off so that way those craggers can go to the new owners I think I had discussed this already, but just in case, we got to get those uh, keystones mounted. With Dad's new tires, they're all here finally. And my new, my old tire shop I used to use, uh, the good guy there, he changed jobs, went to a different shop. Well, they're in the process of moving, and I'm cool with waiting. But there's another tire shop about 40 miles away, but it belongs to a great friend of my brother's. They went to school together, and I remember Carl when I was little. He was always super cool, so. We're gonna go pay Carl a visit at Carl's Tire and Loop in Scranton, Kansas. So, alrighty, so we're back from the tire shop, and Carl, still just as cool as he ever was from my childhood, where I remember of him, hooked us up. Like, for real. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna say anymore. A super cool guy. Love you, Carl. You're still just as cool as I remember you being when I was young. He did an excellent job. And you were honest. Uh, you'll notice there's only two wheels and tires here. It's because the front keystones we ended up with, I never measured them. My buddy I got them from never, never measured them. They're 14s. So, 
I guess we're gonna have to find some different fronts. And uh, we can't really go back to the Craigers because all well, they were skinnies. Four and a halfs on a flared van like this would just look stupid. Like, <coughs> beyond stupid. So let's get these things on and maybe we'll get something good out of it. Um, Dad's not getting my super tricks. Even though the super tricks fill out that wheel well really well. They would need to be polished in order to look right. But yeah, if you see what I mean, 15 by 12, so that's what this thing needs. So I'm going to get my super tricks off. At least now I know that those hold air. And by the way, that's 295 50 15 rubber. Typically a little too short for my taste. These ones, they measure out about 27 inches tall, so they may not look as bad, because those are 28s. But we do have drop shackles for this thing to lower it down a little bit, so they get to work. And are you guys ready? I love reveals. Bam. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if we had the fronts on there. But unfortunately, we aren't lucky. We didn't get that kind of luck today. We got lucky that we got to hang out with Carl and go check out his tire shop, which was awesome. If you're in the state of Kansas and near Scranton, uh, Carl's Tire and Lube. I can't say enough good things about him. He uh, definitely hooked us up. It was a drive, but it was worth it. He got us the, he at least got those done. Those things are just freaking jewelry. Keystone's best mag wheel like that. Keystone's are far superior to Craigers. Fight me over it. I don't care. You can't beat me. But yeah, as you can see, those are definitely 10s and those have got to be 12s because they don't even begin to fill out like the other ones do. And these tires are technically wider. Those are uh, 28 10 fives and those are 295 50 15s. And I think those are like supposed to be 12 and a half wide. Of course the height and you know, the way those things measure out, those gotta be 12s. There's no way they're 10s. But uh, yeah, keystones look amazing. Sorry, Dad. We're gonna have to find you some front keystones, some 15 by seven or eights, so we can get that part of the van done. <sighs> no driving, of course. We still got to finish the gas tank. We got we're waiting on parts on that now. We got to wait on wheels, and uh, it's just a mess. This is an absolute freaking mess. Alrighty, so the carburetor is done. It this was a uh, a pain in the butt trying to find float bowls that weren't any good those are the last two good bowls i have but we convert it to use center hung float bowl which is much better than that crap that came factory on it we've got a dual line on it nope van's trying to shut the door on me that would hurt with the wind today um i've got to shorten the studs down just a little bit sink them into the intake a little bit further because they're uh, wanting to make contact with that front metering block can't have that um i will go ahead and say so the gaskets I got from Allstate Carburetor, which actually I just got done talking to them. They have a YouTube channel now, so search Allstate Carburetors. Uh, they're going to start doing videos on carb tech and all that stuff probably. Uh, the best company to buy any gaskets from, for any carburetor for that fact, not just Holly's, but I only use them and I love them. They're a great company out in New York. Awesome group of people. If you got any carb tech questions, just excellent group of dudes and i'm not sponsored they didn't cut me any deals they didn't ask me to say that that is just my years and years of building holly carburetors they hooked me up they always have and the gaskets got from them were indeed much better quality and they were correct so i got a good feeling about this so we're going to get that done i need to actually pull the front wheels off of dad's van because i got a guy coming to buy a bunch of my craiger wheels and those are two of them. So, looks like old Jezebel is going to get robbed because Dad needs keystones, and that's the only keystones with tires. So, I got some work to do. We'll get the carburetor done. We'll get her running again, hopefully, with no issues. So, let's get her done. And, van with keystones. Excellent. However, I do believe a 21570 is just too narrow in the front. That needs to be like a 235, I think. But I don't know, I guess. No, it needs to be about a 235. So we need 15 eighths. We know that now. See, with no flares, a 215 is ideal. But a 295 in the back is too much. Now, and for anybody who's curious, uh, just about looks with the super tricks. Uh, 
of course that engine's going to weigh down the front end. I got to put air in the front tires, but there's one of them Jag center caps. I did my basically my first ever short video. It was awful, but I turned down some Jag center caps to two two hundred, so they'd fit in the Super Tricks because real Super Trick center caps are nearly impossible to find, and nobody makes a center cap in that dimension that I have found yet. So yeah, other than some spots where it's kind of thin um because these things aren't they're not concentric and they're not like super square so when i was turning them on the way that have a real high spot and a real low spot and i ended up one side of this is actually almost paper thin so luckily the strong side's on top so you don't see that but yeah there's jezebel with uh the super trick well super tricks in the front just that way dad could have keystones and keystones i think are the way and if you know the internet meme this is do wave my brother so that's done i got to get all the craggers dug out for the dude so i can maybe clean up and get rid of a bunch of wheels i don't need anymore these have been pretty handy laying around these came with the dart but get back to work on the carburetor and hopefully get all this done before the sun completely sets Alrighty, so finally got the carburetor on as you can see the flashlight is on because it is dark and i think this camera will actually film in the dark but oh well <coughs> so i just sent dad to go get the van keys fuel line up there was kind of a pain in the butt but i'm not going to be able to sleep until i know this thing will at least run i don't care if it runs good or if it runs bad i just want to make sure this carburetor doesn't leak everywhere because if it leaks with these bowls and i know there's a problem somewhere in this main body if nothing else we have tall john's customized metering block that should solve any issues if we still have issues so We'll get the temporary fuel cell in here until the parts show up from Rock Auto that'll probably be wrong. And uh, we'll get some fuel to this carburetor, see what it does. You got it running? Really? Yeah, she's running. All right, we're squirting fuel. Batteries to power, turbines to speed. No more fire. gonna happen that's what happens when you gotta change the float bowl five freaking times until you find a good float bowl that floats probably set too high um need to lower the float down <coughs> all right so we're back it is a whopping 18 degrees a day yesterday it was 50 or 40 or something so it's pretty cold i'm not gonna film a whole lot because my hands can't be in gloves and my hands are already cold so last night recap um, carburetor's done, fired right up after a huge fireball, it's kind of normal, and, uh, well, started siphoning fuel clean out of the boosters, and that will either be a sticky needle in seat or a sunken float, because if the float is sunk, it won't shut the needle in seat, so got a brand new needle in seat from Napa, grossly overpaid for seven dollars, there's nothing wrong with the old one, really, but went ahead and put it in, um, eyeball the float we're gonna get it running if it's still siphoning gas I will begrudgingly pull that float ball off which is going to suck and check the float if the float ain't sunk then I'm taking my bowls off that carburetor and that's becoming target practice and uh, we'll figure something else out so let's see if we can get it running I already did let's see what she does Well, you want to pump her a couple times? Yeah, give her a pump. Yeah, okay, that's all you needed. Okay. 
All right, just a crank. This dual line feed, this dual feed line, uh -huh. is stuck on the choke riser, and I couldn't see that last night. Oh, it needs to be bent up a little bit? Yeah, it needs to be massively bent up, and that's going to actually sink the carburetor down lower, and as long as we don't hit any more stuff, oh, man, well, at least we're kind of making progress, so, yippee. Well, that wasn't the issue. Everything was tight. We bent up the line. Not the issue. By the way. This carburetor, even though it is fighting us, is still better than a freaking Edelbrock. This is just the worst version of a Holley they ever made right next to a Holley 2. So, we figured it out. Alrighty, so carburetor's off. We have the carburetor that a viewer gave Dad a long time ago. It's been on the jet boat. Works great. Um, we can use the spacer, but it makes our space very limited as far as the stock air cleaner. And uh, I'm not going against the van community who says you need to have a snorkel. So um, I ran a square on the intake. It's flat as can be. I ran a square on the carburetor. It's flat as can be. This is one thing I hate about vacuum carburetors. It's all fucking witchcraft. And what we're having is this vacuum leak or whatever's caused this thing to hang open. It's actually sucking the butterflies open X amount. It doesn't matter how much I adjust a little set screw here. It always sucks it open more than it needs to be. And that's what's causing it to idle so freaking high <sighs> yeah, actually you got it as low as i mean you ain't even touching it yeah so i don't work on vacuum secondary carburetors this is why okay just for uh, shits and grins we are putting the super thick wrong gasket back on here little just to see what it does which one that little one yeah the little baby one mm -hmm. right there no oh, that little yellow handle oh it's in the garage so we're gonna get fuel line hooked back up and see what this does. Trial and error, I am racking my brain profusely. Alrighty, so this is test start number 6,666 and point six point whatever. Uh, thick gasket, gloves on in case of fire, batteries to power, turbines to speed, don't kill me. Get fuel. And that's sucking nothing but air now. Okay, BCV was not hooked up to the carburetor. That is why we had a massive vacuum leak. <laughs> and now I got the idle price set too low here. Cameraman, I need all my hands here.
Enjoy your practice. It's a. It's not a win-win. We'll find target. That's true. I got another one of these. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to walk you around now. It's actually freaking idling. Surely we got a yellow brock somewhere. Yeah, we got plenty. Camera's point this way. Can you see me? Yeah. Do I look like a hillbilly? Do I look like I'm some you kind look of. like you're daggone too big for even a van. I am kind of a big man. I'm sitting on something. No, like that's just the welting. So, we unfortunately did not get all four keystones on here that are dead. Dad, I see your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the camera, Dad goes. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to wrap this thing up. So, we got your back keystones done. Your front keystones tried to be 14, so that's a whole new adventure. But you got Jezebel's keystones. This thing has been the bane of my existence, but at least it is freaking running and not dripping fuel anymore. Yeah, that dangerous. Yeah, this is actually working out pretty good. Thick base gasket, I'm guessing that's probably something to do with the fact that it's a factory intake. So... That's sorted. We're waiting on parts for the gas tank. Um, this has been an absolute pain in the butt. And if you guys haven't understood the frustrations, they're there. So hopefully in the next video, there will be none of these frustrations. The brakes will just magically fly together. All the parts that are on the way for the gas tank show up and are correct. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, hopefully this thing just starts to treat us good. It, 
starting to pull my hair out, and I got plenty of hair to pull out, thank God. It'd be nice to start thinking about carpet and my little cup holder deal I got. It'd be nice to be able to actually put the doghouse on this engine mm -hmm. and not take it back off for a while. done with it. Yeah, which I can at least do this. It's kind of hard to do without the gas tank. Yeah, we need a gas tank, which we have all of that stuff. We're just waiting on the grommet and everything. It's special. But I can at least put this modified original air cleaner on here. And did we get an element? Uh, it's in the house. I haven't test fitted it yet. See if it's right or wrong. But what I was trying to get at is thank you as always, guys, for checking this video out. And by the way, in the process of filming this video over the past week and a half, we crested 20,000 subscribers. Absolutely freaking insane. You guys are the freaking best. Never in my life did I think we'd be at that mark. It's a tiny number in the scale of YouTube land. But it's still a huge number, especially to a couple Kansas guys. <laughs> so, just thank you again, guys. It's freaking warm in here. And uh, look forward to catching you in the next one. So take care, and bye-bye. That was weird. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> and now you press that little, that little square. With the gloves off. With the gloves off, yes. That's why I put these gloves on. Today.